This just makes a mess and makes the rocket expensive and heavy. To overcome this problem, most rockets use a process called staging. Hey guys, I'm Ayush and welcome back to Space Chat. Today we're going to be talking about rockets and staging of rockets. The simple definition of a rocket is a long circular device that is launched into the air. Rockets can be of different types, including the small ones that we use for Diwali, missiles to the big rockets we use for space flight. Early rockets were just a rocket engine with some propellant, which is the fuel, and usually some sort of warhead on top. They were used as an advanced weapon. The V2 rocket built by Germany was the first to reach the Kamen line. The Kamen line is the most widely agreed boundary between Earth's atmosphere and outer space at 100 kilometers above sea level. On one of the test flights, the V2 rocket even reached beyond the Kamen line. The V2 rocket could go to space but couldn't put something into Earth's orbit. To stay in space, an object must reach orbital velocity. To revolve around the Earth, the object must be traveling at a speed of 28,000 km an hour. To achieve that, you need a lot of thrust. Thrust is the force that makes an object move. To achieve the thrust in velocity, you'll increase the fuel in your rocket. As you increase the fuel, the weight of the rocket will also increase. To lift that weight, you'll add extra engines to the rocket, which also increase the weight of the rocket. The fuel will now burn faster as more engines are using the same amount of fuel. To overcome this problem, you'll add more fuel. This just makes a mess and makes the rocket expensive and heavy. To overcome this problem, most rockets use a process called staging. In order to lighten the weight of the vehicle to achieve orbital velocity, most launchers discard a part of the rocket after it's been used in a process called staging. To understand staging of a rocket, we'll have to understand different stages of a rocket. An orbital rocket can have stages ranging from 2 to 5. Here I've taken a simple three-stage heavy launch vehicle to explain the stages. To understand better, let's split the rocket into its different stages. The two solid rocket boosters comprise of the first stage. The middle core liquid booster is the second stage and it lights up after the first stage is separated. The third stage is a little smaller than the other two and it comprises of a vacuum optimized engine and puts the payload into its proper orbit. The satellite that has to be taken to orbit is called the payload. The payload fairing protects the satellite from the atmospheric forces on ascent. The R-7 rocket built by Soviet Union was the first rocket to use staging and put something into Earth's orbit. It was the Sputnik 1, which was the first satellite made and was put into orbit by R-7. The R-7 was a revolutionary two-stage rocket. A fun fact, all orbital rockets till date have been multi-stage. Now let's see how a rocket separates its stages and puts something into Earth's orbit. I've taken the same rocket that I used for explaining the different stages to make it clear. The two solid rocket boosters ignite, producing massive amounts of thrust on liftoff. They will burn till the fuel in them is exhausted. After the fuel in them is exhausted, they separate, igniting the second stage which continues to orbit. The fairing is now separated as the satellite will not need it anymore. After the fuel in the second stage is exhausted, it separates, igniting the third stage. This stage comprises of a vacuum optimized engine and puts the satellite into its proper orbit. After the fuel in that stage is exhausted, it separates. Now the satellite opens up its solar panels and using its small thrusters faces the Earth. The satellite is now revolving around the Earth and is completely operational. I hope you have understood what staging is and how rockets separate stages and put something into Earth's orbit. In the next video, we will be talking about the different engines used in a rocket, so stay tuned for that. I hope you have enjoyed the
the video leave a like if you have subscribe for never missing an upload and i'll see you in my next video bye